I'm going to be as honest as I can and say this is a f shit setup. I must admit, I ummed and awed a little bit about doing a video about me just messing about with some wires and plugging a few things into the Land Rover. <clears throat> but why not, eh? Why not? Thank you as well. Um, I'm currently celebrating 11,000 subscribers and my idea for this weekend was to go out and have a bit of an overnight and have a bit of fun but because of other commitments it time's really short so I've only got a few hours this afternoon but I thought I'd come out anyway it's nice weather I thought I'd come out play a bit of radio and just chip away at trying to get the uh, the vehicle improved I bought 100 meters of like RF10 is it called a DX10 wire 100 meters of that from the DX commander when I bought this from Cal um, when I ordered it online, there's a little box that says any special instructions. Um, so I wrote in the instructions, please can you um, draw me a dinosaur? And uh, in fact, I got a very, very good dinosaur drawn on the inside of the box. I was really impressed. Thank you very much for that. Um, so I've got, plenty, I've got plenty of wire. This will also cut, it, over the next few weeks, I'll be cutting some... Um, of the N-fed antennas that I've got, I'll be replacing the wires on them, uh, as well as there's an experimental, an experimental N-fed wire that I want to have a look at in the next couple of weeks, as well. So we will be getting outdoors a bit more, but today is just parked up at this is Keel University. Um, it's an empty car park. It's Easter Sunday, so everywhere's empty, everywhere's quiet which suits me fine. Some of the comments I got from the last video uh, did say stick on some more radials. So that's the first job today is to stick on some more radials. <coughs> right. Well, this is prime time YouTube stuff, isn't it, really? <clears throat> There's two ways that I could approach this. One is to really mess around and bond all of the metalwork together, um, which takes a fair bit of organisation and messing about um, to do that. And you would do a great job and it would be perfect and you wouldn't need to worry about any radials or anything. Um, or just try and stick loads of radials on when I want to work mobile. When I say mobile, I never never drive around using the radio anyway because A, you're not allowed to do that anyway. Um, and B, it is a big vehicle to be playing on the radio while you're driving. So um, I'll always be parked up anyway. So the choice is to either um, have a drive over mast, have a drive over mast, um, and do it that way or just quickly climb on quickly it's taking me 20 minutes to do these wires so yeah so either set an antenna up outside the vehicle or stick the radials on and use the um, the the tar heel without a shadow of a doubt there's RF getting into the radio into the microphone <clears throat> So I did a recording on this. CQ uh, test, CQ test. Cut out. This is Mike Zero, Cut out. Sierra Zulu Tango. Mike Zero, Sierra Zulu Tango. And that's the point where this radio, the um, ICOM 706, cut out again. Okay, so um, I do need to run it on lower power because that was on full. That was on full power. I wanted to just give the the full whack, so um, it was never going to um, behave on full power anyway. So I'm going to um, stick on the biggest toroid I've got on the antenna wire coming in from the t um, tar heel 
into here and then I'm going to do the, the same thing again and see if we get the same result. <laughs> Let's try this again. Hello Secure, hello Secure. This is Mike Zero Sierra. got a feeling anyway that um, even when I was e oops, sorry even when I was putting the toroid on the radio just kept cutting out on its own so it really is not the radio isn't well itself so um, when I start to camp out again in the Land Rover I don't think the 706 is going to be the radio of choice that come with me <clears throat> Okay then, the 706 has now been moved out of the way. There's a cable you plug into the tar heel that connects to the motor and so you can tune it. So that's what I've got here, target tuner. I can use the SWR meter on the 706 to tune in. This is nice, isn't it? Okay. Want that moving up. Let's try that. Right. I'm going to be as honest as I can and say this is a <laughs> setup. I'm not using the tar heel on this vehicle. It won't tune in on, on 20, 40 meters. I'm getting nothing but rubbish RF inside the vehicle. Um, this idea of having radials all over the place. When I'm trying to get in and out the vehicle, it's I'm tripping over them. <clears throat> um, the idea was when I'm camping out, I want to just put a bit of a radio on and play radio. I might as well just um, get a tripod, put a tripod out here like I've done many times before, and just set the antenna up and just have done with it. <clears throat> I mean, I could even chuck on the, the tar heel onto the, onto the tripod and um, you know tune it in from inside the vehicle if I'm that lazy but no no it looks good on there but the looks are deceiving it is a pile of crap so um, <clears throat> it was worth being out here lovely day for it nice sandwich nice flask of tea a decision has been made today on this one thanks for watching See you on the next video.